NACD joins NRCS in recognizing five Earth Team Award winners. Volunteers are a very important asset to any program, and NRCS Earth Team volunteers are no exception. Earth Team members donate many hours of their personal time and talent to help NRCS and soil conservation districts in their conservation efforts. What do you think of when you hear the word volunteer? Well, if you work in the Crossville field office, Kathy Lowe is the image that pops in your mind. The 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Individual Award goes to Kathy Lowe, an extraordinary individual who has been an Earth Team Volunteer in the Crossville field office since June of 2001. During her 13 years as a volunteer, she has donated a total of 471 volunteer hours. Kathy, who works on her family farm, has an outstanding stewardship ethic and desire to help others. She assists with conservation education activities, community outreach, conservation award programs, and many other functions of the field office and conservation district. One of her most outstanding volunteer projects is the annual Cumberland County Ag in the Classroom Project, sponsored by Farm Bureau, which helps educate more than 550 countywide third graders annually about all aspects of the agriculture industry. The NRCS Soil Conservation District employees staff the soil station, and Kathy assists with educating students on the different soil textures and discusses the soil tunnel with students as they experience life underground. Kathy also volunteers for the annual Stewardship Poster Contest, sorting through an average of 300 posters each year and assisting in selecting the local contest winners. No matter how cold, rainy, or windy the weather is, Kathy always assists with the Cumberland County Soil Conservation District's annual tree sale fundraiser. She is always there first thing each morning, assisting customers, and she is one of the last to leave at the end of the day. The NRCS Soil Conservation District Office has a long-standing tradition of assisting with the field crop and horticulture entries at the Cumberland County Fair. Kathy donates her time and expertise during crop entries by helping identify which categories entries should go in and helping exhibitors make their entry selections. Kathy always assists with the annual Soil Conservation District Awards Dinner and Conservation Field Days. She also has represented Cumberland County on numerous occasions at area and state meetings that deal with the sustainability of natural resources. For her exemplary efforts to conserve, maintain, and improve our natural resources, and her outstanding contributions as an Earth Team volunteer, Kathy Lowe of the Crossville Field Office is the 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Individual Award recipient. The 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Coordinator Award goes to Carolyn Barty, the Office Administrative Management Specialist in Area 1 in West Tennessee. She is also the Earth Team Volunteer Coordinator for the 21 County Area and serves on the Civil Rights Committee. She has worked with the State Volunteer Coordinator on various reports for the Leadership Team, Civil Rights Committee meetings, and awards throughout the year. Carolyn has approved 15 new individual volunteers in four volunteer groups this fiscal year. She has recruited students from local high schools and others to help with district activities. She assisted in coordinating volunteers for various activities, including but not limited to clerical work, planting shrubs and trees for wildlife habitat, assisting with community tree giveaways, survey, and other field activities. She created flyers and handouts to assist in recruitment of Earth Team volunteers. She has emphasized to district conservationists and district employees the value of recruiting and working with volunteers. She sends emails on a regular basis with materials to support the Earth Team program, including the Earth Team fillable volunteer agreement forms, to encourage employees to utilize Earth Team volunteers. 
She tries hard to provide a better understanding of who a volunteer can be and what a volunteer can do. She has stressed to field offices the state conservationist's desire to increase work with Earth Team volunteers and voiced how Earth Team volunteers can assist in this time of increased work with limited staff. She sends out media reports to each office and to the state conservationist, showing number of volunteers and hours worked. She also sends a mid-year office participation chart. Training has been limited, but this did not keep Carolyn from making calls or traveling to help assist in any way possible. Carolyn used her skills to create different Earth Team PowerPoint presentations that she shared at area meetings, civil rights meetings, district employee meetings, and others, along with web links and Earth Team promo video sites. Funding sometimes makes it a challenge to recognize volunteers, but Carolyn gets innovative to recognize the volunteers in her area. One district conservationist stated, Carolyn re-energized me in relation to the volunteer program. I had been steady with the program, but she pushed me to do more projects and involve more volunteers. She also shared volunteer success stories with the public affairs staff for state publications. Carolyn sent out information during National Volunteer Week and on other occasions that was published in the local newspapers. She has also written a scholarship letter for an Earth Team volunteer. Carolyn has been creative in finding Earth Team volunteers. She recently advertised on her personal Facebook page for an Earth Team volunteer. She also shares all her creative presentations and ideas with others across the state. She has nominated employees for the NRCS Earth Team Awards and recognized offices and employees who work with Earth Team volunteers and the Earth Team volunteer with the most hours. For her commitment and innovative approach to the Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Program, Carolyn Barty is the recipient of the 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Coordinator Award. The 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Employee Award goes to Kevin Hart, District Conservationist in the Clarksville Dover Field Offices. Kevin has been actively involved with the NRCS Earth Team Program for a number of years. Many of the Earth Team volunteers he has worked with have been from the Wounded Warrior Project at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. The Wounded Warrior Project was developed for soldiers returning from combat in Iraq and Afghanistan who need treatment and time to heal. The Earth Team Volunteer Program has proven to be a beneficial catalyst for these soldiers. The Wounded Warrior Project is an important volunteer service in the Earth Team Program. It is a win-win situation when NRCS receives valuable volunteer service and the soldiers learn job skills for a possible new career. Patrick Bauer is one good example. Patrick, a sergeant in the U.S. Army, is pursuing a college degree in business. After volunteering with NRCS and working alongside Kevin Hart, Sergeant Bauer has decided to add agriculture classes to his curriculum in hopes of one day becoming a soil conservationist within RCS. Kevin and his staff have supervised five wounded warriors. Many of these soldiers insist on only working in the Montgomery County area, and Kevin has done his best to find positions for them. Kevin arranged for four of the wounded warrior volunteers to be recognized at the Area 2 annual meeting last December. He also enlisted the help of the volunteers to assist with the annual Montgomery County Land Judging Contest and the Five Rivers RCND Council's Envirothon Competition, an environmental contest where high school students are tested on their knowledge in the disciplines of aquatics, forestry, soils, wildlife, and a unique environmental issue each year. He initiated a new project this year that involves saving old Farm Service Agency compliance slides. An Austin P. State University student, James Haynes, was recruited as an Earth Team volunteer to assist with this project that involved intense procedures of scanning individual slides that can then be made into an ArcGIS index layer. ArcGIS users can now access the photographs by adding the index layer to their map database. 
This project ensures that the slides will be preserved and available for future use. For his exemplary support and commitment to the Earth Team program, Kevin Hart is the recipient of the 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Employee Award and also the recipient of the Regional Earth Team Employee Award. The 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Partnership Award recipient is the whole York Lakeland Resource Conservation and Development Council. For many years, RCND was a household name for NRCS and for local soil conservation districts. In addition to the federal employees managing the program, it was comprised of thousands of volunteers nationwide. Even though the RCND program lost federal funding in early 2011, most RCND councils across the country made adjustments and with volunteer leadership continue to be very strong and successful in carrying out the council's mission. Hall York Lakeland endured several challenges after funding was cut, but thanks to the commitment of numerous volunteers, the council has continued to be successful. One of Hull York Lakeland RCND's strongest assets is the continuing partnerships with other agencies, particularly in RCS. Since 1966, Hull York Lakeland RCND has served 14 counties in Middle Tennessee on various projects to address economic, environmental, and social issues. This council works to put projects on the ground that help the environment, promote local tourism, and help provide educational opportunities. The Council's projects have ranged from watershed projects to installing best management practices to the restoration of historic communities. Many projects are site-specific, but several are Council-wide in all 14 counties. One of the biggest Council-wide projects is the Upper Cumberland Quilt Trail, which helps promote tourism in the Upper Cumberland and has sparked a lot of interest across the country. Educating youth on the conservation of natural resources is at the top of the Council's priority list. Another Council-wide project is the Regional Envirothon Contest, an environmental competition in which high school students demonstrate their knowledge of environmental science and natural resource management. Hull York Lakeland RCND hosts one of the largest Regional Envirothon Contests in Tennessee. The 2014 contest was comprised of 19 teams with a total of 90 students. Hull York Lakeland partners with NRCS and several other agencies to conduct the contest. 14 NRCS employees, along with 33 employees of other agencies, work together to make the contest a success. Excluding NRCS employee hours, 54 individuals donated 677 hours, over $15,500 in-kind value, to help prepare for and conduct the Envirothon. Other agency partners for this contest include local soil conservation districts, Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation, Tennessee Division of Forestry, Tennessee Technological University, Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, as well as some NRCS retirees. By utilizing such a wide array of volunteers and professionals, Hull York Lakeland RCND is able to meet all the needs and requirements to be successful year after year. As with many projects, funding is an issue each year due to the size of this contest. Hull York Lakeland RCND uses some of its funding for a part-time program manager to assist with the contest in addition to day-to-day -day operations of the council. The program manager works to find grants and donations to fund the expenses not covered by the Tennessee RCND Council. Since hosting its first Envirothon in 1994, Hull York Lakeland RCND has seen a continuing interest and enthusiasm from students, educators, and volunteers to continue to host the Envirothon Contest. This contest has seen contestants that competed, then came back and coached, and now volunteer to help host the event. For their exemplary volunteer spirit and continuing commitment to the community and the environment, 
The 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Partnership Award recipient is the whole York Lakeland rc and Council. The 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Group Award goes to the Washington County Soil Conservation District Youth Board, a group of high school and college students from 15 to 21 years old who are always eager to complete a conservation project and help landowners in the county. These youth board members also serve as Earth Team volunteers for the Natural Resources Conservation Service. In 2014, they maintained projects from previous years and completed new projects that promote conservation in Washington County. The previous year, the youth board completed the WaterWise kiosk at the Appalachian Fairgrounds. The kiosk teaches others about reducing stormwater runoff, permeable pavers, rain gardens, rain barrels, and even about the green roof that was planted on the kiosk roof. This project was a huge success and still continues to be to this day. The Youth Board works to maintain the kiosk throughout the year and also staff the kiosk during the Appalachian Fair. This year, the group did a wetland restoration project in Washington County. The site was a location that was enrolled in the Natural Resources Conservation Service WRP. The Ellis property, located in the Lamar community, consisted of a little over six acres of hydric soils. Wetland enhancement began with excavating a shallow water area serpentine ditch that would allow for seasonal wetland birds and amphibians. This enhancement was constructed to be 10 foot wide by 1300 feet long. Secondly, the site was prepped for restoration by eradicating non-native and invasive species using herbicides. Lastly, the site was established with hardwood trees according to the restoration plan, allowing the area to regenerate into a hardwood forest. Planting these trees in the designated area call for approximately 300 trees per acre for a total of nearly 2,000 hand-planted tree seedlings in the wetland. The Youth Board eagerly agreed to plant the seedlings on the proposed site. The rows were laid out with flags to ensure the pin oak, persimmon, white dogwood, and silky dogwood trees were being planted evenly and in an orderly fashion on 12 by 12 spacing. The Youth Board members worked every day after school for a week to get the trees planted and complete the work on the WRP site restoration. For their volunteer spirit and their continuing commitment to conservation in their community, the 2014 Tennessee Earth Team Volunteer Group Award recipient is the Washington County Soil Conservation District Youth Board. <music>